What's going on guys? It's Owen back here today with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how I got second place in a remix contest. I'll be breaking down the track, uh, telling you a little bit about the contest and getting you up to date. So let's get into it. So for those of you who aren't uh, following my Instagram or aren't up to date with this, um, I participated in a remix contest hosted by Matthew Parker and Landon Austin to remix their song Cool. And uh, I ended up doing pretty good and I ended up getting second place. So yeah, we're going to listen to the remixes now, the top five remixes that will be released on the EP uh, May 21st. So yeah, let's listen to those remixes. <laughs> So those are the winning remixes. If you want to listen to them right now, I'll put a link to the SoundCloud playlist in the description. Also, thank you to God's Nation for posting my remix. All right. Enough talk about that, let's get on to how I made this remix. Uh, let's go full screen here. Uh, so, uh, started off actually with the drop. I had made this uh, drop earlier just as a fun project. Um, it's going for just like a, a future pop vibe. Uh, so this is what we got for the drop. <laughs> uh, so I started off with the guitar. Bass chords. And then we got the. Uh, I add that later. Uh, this was the lead he sent us uh, in the MIDI pack with the samples. So I took that, put it in that saw step, flip, stab sort of thing. Then I had this like, guitar group, hats. It's just a hat loop from the Cinematic Pharaoh sample pack. Walk takes. Gotta have those in the future pop track. Got this sick vibe going at the collapse and the face. Yeah, so that's the drop, and then afterwards, obviously, add the vocals. Um, and then I made this lead here um, out of one of the samples I just pulled from the vocal. Uh, OTT on it, some delay. And then, um, no idea what this is. Ah, compression. That's what it is. Some saturation. And reverb. And a filter for building up into the verse. Alright, so that's what I did first. I made that before I actually started the remix. And then, uh, I made that just, just a little bit before I found out about it. And so then I ended up using that in the remix. Um, I thought it fit the vibe well that I was going for. Then we got the verse. Uh, the first verse is pretty much just the second verse without drums, so just like less cool. So vocals, a little bit of like bell sounds, fill it in. Um, and then we got the. Where is it? Where's the guitar? Big part of the track. Uh, here it is. We got the guitar playing octave thirds. Doo -doo -doo. Right there, and then we got the bass. This is, a, this is like a real bass guitar, but like synth, so it's emulated, I guess. And then I added pitch dies. Always remember to add pitch dies at the end of like your uh, bass notes or like chords, which makes it sound really realistic, like someone's actually playing them. 
So that's what I was trying to go for. And then we got this big section. For this section, I want it to sound like really big, um, as if it was like an orchestra playing it or something. So um, I obviously added the impacts that I use in like almost every song from a Lation sample pack. I'll put the link uh, to his channel in the description. He gives out free F FLPs with almost every video. So yeah, we got the impacts, and then we also got, we start, we got some, the cello. It's like a big cello just doing the bass notes. And then we got a choir. There's OTT on that. And then we got, oops. <laughs> then we got uh, lead strings. Two sets of those, uh, one just stock preset in Reason and then one in Labs. I always just crank everything up in Labs to make it louder. Probably shouldn't do that. You can use this to automate like the expression of the, of the strings, but I did not do that. Um, then we also have a guitar. So that's it all together, just like a big emotional vibe. And then we add in sub bass as well, uh, which is in the second half. Oh, there it is. <laughs> sub bass right here. Then a riser. And then we go into like the breakdown. So this part, I kind of want to have a big and then just like tighten up again and get all funky. Groovy, I guess. Not really funky, but like, yeah. So I brought in the distorted guitar. Uh, playing power chords on that. Just add an amp, distortion, uh, Chef Sonny channel, guitar preset. Uh, and just a bit of EQ as well to bring out some of the highs, take away some frequencies, and then Vector Silencer, uh, just to get rid of some of the, uh, when I was stopped playing, I kind of tapped the bomb strings between each chord, so I did that to get rid of that. And then we also got these vocal chops here, which I made from part of his vocal. And then, uh, filtering in leads, obviously. We got the clip stab. Um, bring that in. Where's the vocal chop one? Oh, I just bring that in later, I guess. And it's in the drop. All right, and that is pretty much the build up. We just got some snare drums, risers, add the that snare drum there, add the clap for groove, and then the snare drum build up. Riders, obviously. And that's uh, pretty much the build up. Um, definitely a favorite part of my track is the verse. I love it. It's just so tight. Um, the groove. People say so, we lose our heads. Um, took this drum loop. I believe this was uh, another sample from. Either from Loop Cloud or from the Pharaoh sample pack. I didn't like the kick drum pattern, but I just liked the top end stuff. So I just put a high pass filter on that. Just a massive high pass filter. And then we got the clap. And then to add a little more natural to that. A finger snap, and then we had this like guitar. I just literally held it, held the strings, and just did this with a with a pick. And then we got the kick drum, which is a different kick than verse. I was like to use a different kick than my verses because you don't want your verse kick to be as punchy as your drop kick. Uh, it can take away some of the punch from the drop. So we got that going there. And then that little like reverse effect, pan to the right a bit. And then all the other elements, of course. And then there's some rim shots and other percussive elements. And it makes up most of the groove. And it ends up being pretty cool, pretty bouncy. It's 
a nice groove. And then that works really well with the chords. People say we lose our heads when we're together. Lost in thought in our so that all fits, fits nicely we together. Forever. We'll never apologize yeah. for and that's pretty much it. Uh, and it just kind of loops back into this. Back into the big orchestral section. And then I add a little arpeggio later on the flute. And I add this cool fill. Whenever I do my remix contests, my <laughs> remix contests, I always like to add something a little, a little spicy in there to make it a little bit unpredictable. And then. Finally, the last thing I did in this track is I added uh, this tape player effect. So at the start of the track, it sounds like it's the start of a tape. So how I did that is I actually took an old tape player, put the mic to it, just messed around with it, uh, like starting, stopping it, taking samples of just like a raw tape playing, no sound. And then um, I took a clip from Matthew Parker's Instagram page, um, and then I put a, uh, where is it? Oh, here it is. I put um, uh, Shep's Omni Channel again, but a radio effect, and then I also added some vinyl to it. What's up, everybody? And then I kept in some, uh, I took a bit of sample from the tape, just like spinning. Uh, and then I also added my guitar like intro before I started playing. Just so kind of like messing around. What's up, everybody? Matthew Parker here. So I thought that was a cool Cut intro, it. cool way to start the track. And then same thing on the outro. I also did that. I took um. In cool. So me just like stopping the tape and having that uh, tape playing loop going through that. Yeah, so that's one thing I gotta say. If you guys are doing remix contests, always try and make and put some creative stuff in there. You know, if you're making a trap remix, there's gonna be other people who are doing that. So try and make it unique. Try and add some interesting elements that other people won't add. Some spicy fills, some cool effects and intro, whatever it is. That's uh, definitely my tip to you guys. All right, that's it for the breakdown of the track. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please like, please subscribe. Um, also, don't forget that the Remix EP, the cool Remix EP, will be coming out May 21st with five remixes on it. Um, also, don't forget to join me on an Instagram Live with Matthew Parker and the other Remix winners, uh, either on May 21st or the day before. We're not sure yet. We're still deciding. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Follow me on Instagram. Follow Matthew Parker on Instagram so you're in touch with that. Also, I will be sh live streaming it on YouTube so you can check in there as well. All right. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. People say we lose our heads when we're together. Lost in thought in our dreamland where we live forever.